Welcome to the Main Bible Study for Waymaker Messianic Jewish and Christian Center USA. We welcome everyone who is here with us today and who will listen in later on the archives as well. We pray that this is a blessing to each and every one of you. Well, we are going to be finishing up the book of Psalms and we're covering a, a, a large amount. So we're going to be actually doing this in two parts. We are going to be covering Psalms 101 through 150 and the largest um, of the uh, of the Psalms is in this section this week it's actually Psalm 119 so this is from the New American Standard Bible and before we get started we're going to open with our opening prayer and invite the Holy Spirit in to lead us and guide us Father God we just want to thank you for the ability to be here together to to join in reading your word and hearing your word, we ask your Holy Spirit to lead us, guide us, direct us, open the eyes of our heart and the ears of our heart that we may be receptive to your holy word. Show us what it is that we need to grasp and give us fresh revelation. Father God, we thank you for everything that you do. You're amazing and you're awesome. And we Praise your holy name. We give you all of our praise and all honor and glory belong to you. And we pray this prayer in the mighty name, the name that is above all names, the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. We're going to get started with Psalm 101, the psalmist's profession of uprightness, a psalm of David. I will sing of loving kindness and justice to you, O Lord, I will sing praises. I will give heed to the blameless way. When will you come to me? I will walk within my house in the integrity of my heart. I will set no worthless thing before my eyes. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall, it shall not fasten its grip on me. A perverse heart shall depart from me. I will know no evil. Whoever secretly slanders his neighbor, him I will destroy. No one who has a haughty look and an arrogant heart will I endure. My eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. He who walks in a blameless way is the one who will minister to me. He who practices deceit shall not dwell within my house. He who speaks falsehood shall not maintain his position before me. Every morning I will destroy all the wicked of the land, so as to cut off from the city of the Lord all those who do iniquity. Psalm 101, a prayer of an afflicted man for mercy on himself and on Zion. A prayer of the, the afflicted when he is faint and pours out his complaint before the Lord. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry for help come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me quickly. For my days have been consumed in smoke, and my bones have been scorched like a hearth. My heart has been smitten like grass and has withered away. Indeed, I forget to eat my bread because of the loudness of my groaning. My bones cling to my flesh. I resemble a pelican of the wilderness. I have become like an owl of the waste places. As I awake, I have become like a lonely bird on a housetop. My enemies have reproached me all day long. Those who deride me have used my name as a curse. For I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink with weeping because of your indignation and your wrath for you have lifted me up and cast me away my days are like a lengthened shadow and i wither away like grass but you O lord abide forever and your name to all generations you will arise and have compassion on zion for it is a time to be gracious to her for the appointed time has come Surely your servants find pleasure in her stones and feel pity for her dust. So the nations will fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord has built up Zion. He has appeared in his glory. He has regarded the prayer of the destitute and has not despised their prayer. This will be written for the, for the generation to come. That a people yet to be created may praise the Lord for he looked down from his holy height. From heaven, the Lord gazed upon the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to set free those who were doomed to death, that men may tell of the name of the Lord in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. 
when the peoples are gathered together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. He has weakened my strength in the way. He has shortened my days. I say, oh, my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days, for your, your, your years are throughout all generations of old you founded the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Even they will perish, but you endure, and all of them will wear out like a garment, like clothing. You will change them, and they will be changed, but you are the same, and your years will not come to an end. The children of your servants will continue, and their descendants will be established before you. Psalm 103, praise for the Lord's mercies, a psalm of David. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget none of his benefits, who pardons all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with loving kindness and compassion who satisfies your years with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. The Lord performs righteous deeds and judgments for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in loving kindness. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his loving kindness towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Just as the Father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he himself knows our frame. He is mindful that we are but dust. As for man, his days are like grass as a flower of the field so he flourishes when the wind has passed over it it is no more and its place acknowledges it no longer but the loving kindness of the lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to, to children's children to those who keep his covenant and remember his precepts to do them the lord has established his throne in the heavens and his sovereignty rules over all bless the lord you his angels Mighty in strength who perform his word, obeying the word of his obeying the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you who serve him, doing his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his his in all his places of dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Psalm 101, the Lord's care over all his work. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty, covering yourself with light as with a cloak, stretching out heaven like a tent curtain. He lays the beams of his upper chambers in the waters. He makes the clouds his chariot. He walks upon the wings of the wind. He makes the winds his messengers, flaming fire his ministers. He established the earth upon its foundation so that it will not totter forever and ever. You covered it with a deep as with a garment. The waters were standing above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the sound of your thunder they hurried away. The mountains rose. The valley sank down to the place which you established for them. You set a boundary that they may not pass over, so that they will not return to cover the earth. He sets four springs in the valleys. They flow between the mountains. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. Besides them the birds of the heavens dwell. They lift up their voices among the branches. He waters the mountains from his upper chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of his works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and vegetation for the labor of man so that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine which makes man's heart glad so that he may make his face glisten with oil and food which sustains man's heart. The trees of the the Lord drink their fill, the cedars of Lebanon, which he planted, where the birds build their nests, and the stork whose home is the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats. The cliffs are, are a refuge for the Shephanim. He made the moon for the seasons. The sun knows the place of its setting. You appoint darkness, and it becomes night, in which all the beasts of the forest prowl about. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their food from God. When the sun rises, they withdraw and lie down in their dens. 
man goes forth to his work and to his labor until evening. O oh Lord, how many are your works. In his wisdom, you have made them all. The earth is full of your possessions. There is the sea, great and broad, in which are swarms without number, animals both small and great. There the ships move along, and Leviathan, which you have formed to sport in it, they'll wait for you to give them their food in due season. You give to them, they gather it up. You open your hand, they are satisfied with good. You hide your face, they are dismayed. You take away their spirit, they expire and return to their dust. You send forth your, your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. Let the glory of the Lord endure forever. Let the Lord be glad in his works. He looks at the earth and it trembles. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. Let my meditation be pleasing to him. As for me, I shall be glad in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth and let the wicked be no more. Blessed, bless the, the Lord how my soul praise the Lord. And Psalm 105, the Lord's wonderful works in, in behalf of Israel. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, speak of all his wonders. Glory in his holy name. Let the heart of those who seek the Lord be glad. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. Remember his wonders, which he has done. His marvels and the judgments utter, uttered by his mouth. O seed of Abraham, his servant, O son of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He has remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations, the covenant which he made with Abraham, and his oath to Isaac, then he confirmed it to Jacob for a statute, to Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan as the portion of your inheritance, when there were only a few men in number, very few, and strangers in it, and they wandered about from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people. He permitted no man to oppress them. He reproved kings for their sake. Do not touch my anointed ones, and do, do my prophets no harm. And he called for a famine upon the land. He broke the whole staff of bread, he sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They afflicted his feet with fetters. He himself was laid in irons until the time that his word came to pass. The word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him, the ruler of peoples, and set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler over all his possessions to imprison his princes at will, that he might teach his elders wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt. Thus Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham, and he caused his people to be very fruitful, and made them strong, stronger than their adversaries. He turned their heart to hate his people, to deal craftily with his servant. He sent Moses, his servant, and Aaron, whom he had chosen. They performed his wondrous acts among them, and miracles in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made it dark, and they did not rebel against his words. He turned their waters into blood and caused their fish to die. Their land swarmed with frogs, even in the chambers of their kings. He spoke, and there came a swarm of flies and gnats in all their territory. He gave them hail for rain and flaming fire in their land. He struck down their vines also and their fig trees, and shattered the trees of their territory. He spoke, and locusts came, and young locusts even without number and ate up all vegetation in their land, and ate up the fruit of their ground. He also struck down all the firstborn in their land, the first fruits of all their vigor. Then he brought them out with silver and gold, and among his tribes there was not one who stumbled. Egypt was glad when they departed, for the dread of them had fallen upon them. He spread a cloud for a covering, and fire to illumine by night. They asked, and he brought quail, and satisfied them with bread, the bread of heaven. He opened the rock, and water flowed out. It ran in the dry places like a river, for he remembered his holy word with Abraham his servant, and he brought forth his people with joy. His chosen ones with a joyful shout, he gave them also the lands of the nations. 
that they might take possession of the, of the fruit of the people's labor, so that they might keep his statutes and observe his laws. Praise the Lord. Psalm 106, Israel's rebelliousness and the Lord's deliverances. Praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Who can speak of the mighty deeds of the Lord? Or can show forth all his praise. How blessed are those who keep justice, who practice righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, in your favor towards your people. Visit me with your salvation, that I may, may see the prosperity of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may glory with your inheritance. We have sinned like our fathers, we have committed iniquity. We have behaved wickedly. Our fathers in Egypt did not understand your wonders. They did not remember your abundant kindness, but rebelled by the sea, at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for the sake of his name, that he might make his power known. Thus he rebuked the Red Sea, and it dried up. And he led them through the deeps as through the wilderness. So he saved them from the hand of the one who hated them, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. The waters covered their adversaries, not one of them was left. And they believed his words. They sang his praise. They quickly forgot his works. They did not wait for his counsel, but prayed intensely in the wilderness and tempted God in the desert. So he gave them their request, but sent a wasting disease among them. When they became envious of Moses in the camp and of Aaron, the Holy One of the Lord, the earth opened and swallowed up Dathan, and engulfed the company of Abram, and a fire blazed up in their company. The flame consumed the wicked, they made a calf in Horeb, and worshipped the molten in image. Thus they exchanged their glory for the image of an ox that eats grass. They, they forgot God their Savior, who had done great things in Egypt, wonders in the land of Ham, and awesome things by the Red Sea. Therefore he said that he would destroy them, had not Moses, his chosen one, stood in the breach before him to turn away his wrath from destroying them. So Moses, Moses was interceding for them um, constantly. Then they despised the pleasant land. They did not believe in his word, but grumbled in their tents. They did not listen to the voice of the Lord. Therefore he swore to them that he would cast them down in the wilderness and that he would cast their seed among the nations and scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves also to Baal Peor, and ate sacrifices offered to the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger with their deeds, and the plague broke out among them. Then Phineas stood up and interposed, and so the plague was stayed, and it was reckoned to him for righteousness to all generations forever. They also provoked him to wrath at the waters of Meribah, so that it went hard with Moses on their account. Because they were rebellious against his spirit, he spoke rashly with his lips. They did not destroy the peoples at the, as the Lord commanded them, but they mingled with the nations and learned their practices and served their idols, which became a snare to them. They even sacrificed their sons and their daughters to the demons and shed innocent blood, the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Then they became unclean in their practices and, and played the harlot in their deeds. Therefore, the anger of the Lord was kindled against his people, and he abhorred his inheritance. Then he gave them into the hand of the nations, and those who hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were subdued under their power. Many times he would deliver them. They, however, were rebellious in their counsel and so sank down in their iniquity. Nevertheless, he looked upon their distress when he heard their cry, and he remembered his covenant for their sake, and relented according to the greatness of his loving kindness. He also made them objects of compassion in their presence of all their captors. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the nations, and give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting even to everlasting, and let all the people say amen. Praise the Lord. And now we're going to go into book five uh, of, of the book of Psalms.
Um, Psalm 107, the Lord delivers men from manifold troubles. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the adversary and gathered from the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered from the wilderness in a desert region. They did not find a way to an inhabited city. They were hungry and thirsty. Their, their soul fainted within them. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. He delivered them out of their distresses. He led them also by a straight way to go to an inhabited city. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness and for his wonders to the sons of men. For he has satisfied the thirsty soul and the hungry soul he has filled with what is good. There were those who dwelt in darkness and in the shadow of death, prisoners in misery and chains because they had rebelled against the words of God and spurned the counsel of the Most High. Therefore he humbled their heart with labor. They stumbled and there was none to help. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. He saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and broke their bands apart. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness and for his wonders to the sons of men. For he has shattered gates of bronze and cut bars of iron asunder. Fools, because of the rebellious way and because of their iniquities, were afflicted. Their soul abhorred all kinds of food, and they drew near to the gates of death. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, who saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness and for his wonders to the sons of men. Let them also offer sacrifices of thanksgiving and tell of his works with joyful singing. Those who go down to the sea in ships, who do business on great waters, they have seen the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep, for he spoke and raised up a stormy wind which lifted up the waves of the sea. They rose up to the heavens, they went down to the depths, their soul melted away in their misery. They reeled and staggered like a drunken man and were at their wit's end. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distresses. He caused the storm to be still so that the waves of the sea were hushed. Then they were glad because they were quiet. So he guided them to their desired haven. He, he guided them to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness and for his wonders to the sons of men. Let them extol him also in the congregation of the people and praise him. At the seat of the elders, he changes rivers into a wilderness and springs of water into a thirsty ground, a fruitful land into a salt waste because of the wickedness of those who dwell in it. He changes a wilderness into a pool of water and a dry land into springs of water. And there he makes the hungry to dwell so that they may establish an inhabited city and sow fields and plant vineyards and gather a fruitful harvest. Also he blesses them, and they multiply greatly, and he does not let their cattle decrease. When they are diminished and bowed down, through oppression, misery, and sorrow, he pours contempt upon princes and makes them wander in a pathless waste. But he sets the needy securely on, on high away from affliction and makes his families like a flock. The upright sees it and are glad. But all unrighteousness shuts its mouth. Who is wise? Let him give heed to these things and consider the loving kindnesses of the Lord. Psalm 108. God praised and supplicated to give victory. A song, a psalm of David. My heart is steadfast, O God. I will sing, I will sing praises, even with my soul. Awake, harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. And I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your loving kindness is great above the heavens, and your truth reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory above all the earth, that your beloved may be delivered. Save with your right hand and answer me. God has spoken in his holiness. I will exalt, I will portion out Shechem, and measure out the valley of Sukkot. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim also is the helmet of my head. Judah is my scepter. 
Moab is my washbowl. Over Edom, I shall throw my shoe. Over Philistia, I will shout aloud. Who will bring me into the besieged city? Who will lead me to Edom? Have, have not you yourself, O oh God, rejected us? And will you not go forth with our armies, O oh God? O oh, give us help against the adversary, for deliverance by man is in vain. Th through God we will do valiantly, and it is he who shall tread down our adversaries. Psalm 109, Vengeance Invoked Upon Adversaries for the choir director, a psalm of David, O God of my praise, do not be silent, for they have opened the wicked and deceitful mouth against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They have also surrounded me with words of hatred and fought against me without cause. In return for my love, they act as my accusers, but I am in prayer. Thus they have repaid me evil for good and hatred for my love. Appoint a wicked man over him and let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is judged, let him come forth guilty, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, let another take his office, let his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow, let his children wander about and beg, and let them seek sustenance far from their ruined homes. Let the creditor seize all that he has, and let strangers plunder the product of his labor. Let there be none to extend loving kindness to him, nor any any to be gracious to his fatherless children. Let his posterity be cut off in a following generation. Let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord, and do not let the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually, that they that he may be cut off. That I'm sorry, that he may cut off their memory from the earth because he did not remember to show loving kindness, but persecuted the afflicted and needy man, and the despondent in heart to put them to death. He also loved cursing, so it came to him, and he did not look delight in blessing, so it was far from him. But he clothed himself with cursing as with his garment, and it entered into his body like water and like oil into his bones. Let it be to him as a garment with which he covers himself and for a belt with which he constantly girds himself. Let this be the reward of my accusers from the Lord and of those who speak evil against my soul. But you, O oh God, the Lord, deal kindly with me for your name's sake, because your loving kindness is good. Deliver me, for I am afflicted and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I am passing like a shadow when it lengthens. I am shaken off like the locust. My knees are weak from fasting, and my flesh has grown lean without fatness. I also have become a reproach to them. When they see me, they wag their head. Help me, O Lord, my God, save me according to your loving kindness. And let them know that this is your hand. You, Lord, have done it. Let, him, let them curse, but you bless. When you arise, they shall be ashamed, but your servant shall be glad. Let my accusers be clothed with dishonor. Let them cover themselves with their own shame, as with a robe. With my mouth, I will give thanks abundantly to the Lord. And in the midst of many, I will praise him, for he stands at the right hand of the needy to save him from those who judge his soul. Psalm 110, the Lord gives dominion to the king, a psalm of David. The Lord says, says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool at your feet. The Lord will stretch forth your strong scepter from Zion, saying, Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people will volunteer freely in the day of your power. The holy array from the womb of the, of the dawn, your youth are to you as the dew. The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand. He will shatter kings. In the day of his wrath, he will judge among the nations. He will fill them with, with corpses. He will shatter the chief men over a broad country. He will drink from the brook by the wayside. Therefore, he will lift up his head. Psalm 111, the Lord prays for his goodness. Praise the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord. They are studied by all who delight in them. Splendid and majestic is his work and his righteousness endures forever. He has made his wonders to be remembered. 
The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He has given food to those who fear him. He will remember his covenant forever. He has made known to his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. The works of his hands are truth and justice. All his precepts are sure. They are upheld forever and ever. They are performed in truth and uprightness. He has sent redemption to his people. He has ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, a good understanding of all those who do his commandments. His praise endures forever. Psalm 112, prosperity of the one who fears the Lord. Praise the Lord. How blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commandments. His descendants will be mighty on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Light arises in the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and compassionate and righteous. It is well with the man who is gracious and lends. He will maintain his cause and judgment, for he will never be shaken. The righteous will be remembered forever. He will not fear evil tidings. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. His heart is upheld. He will not fear until he looks with satisfaction on his adversaries. He is given freely to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His horn will be exalted in honor. The wicked will see it and be vexed. He will gnash his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked will perish. Psalm 113, the Lord exalts the humble. Praise the Lord. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from the from this time forth and forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Now, this is the beginning of the Hallel Psalms, which is 113 to 118. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations. His glory is above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, who humbles himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth? He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes. With the princes of his people, he makes the barren woman abide in the house as a joyful mother of children praise the lord psalm 114 god's deliverance of israel from egypt when israel went forth from egypt the house of jacob from a people of, of strange language judah became his sanctuary israel his dominion the sea looked and fled the jordan turned back the mountains skipped like rams the hills like lambs why ail, what ails you o sea that you flee O Jordan, that you turn back. O mountains, that you skip like rams. O hills, like rams. Tremble, O earth, before the Lord, before the God of Jacob, who turned the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a fountain of water. Psalm 115. Heathen idols contrasted with the, with the Lord. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name. Give glory because of your loving kindness, because of your truth. Why should the nations say where now is their God? But our God is in the heavens. He does whatever pleases him. Their idols are silver and gold. The work of man's hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. They have noses, but they cannot smell. They have hands, but they cannot feel. They have feet, but they cannot walk. They cannot make a sound with their throat. Those who make them will become like them. Everyone who trusts in them. O oh, Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help. And their shield, O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord, he is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord, he is their help and their shield. The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord. The small together with the great. May the Lord give you increase, you and your children. May you be blessed of the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. The heavens are the heavens of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the sons of men. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor do any who go down into silence. But as for us, we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forever. Praise the Lord. Psalm 116, Thanksgiving for Deliverance from Death. I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my supplications, because he has inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I shall call upon him as long as I live. The cords of death encompass me, and the terrors 
of Sheol came upon me. I found distress and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I beseech you, save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Yes, our God is compassionate. The Lord preserves the simple. I was brought low when he saved me. Return to your rest, O my soul. For the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. For you have rescued my soul from death. My eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I shall walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed when I said I am greatly afflicted. I said in my alarm, all men are liars. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits towards me? I shall lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I shall pay my vows to the Lord. O oh, may it be in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his godly ones. O oh, Lord, surely I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your, your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you I shall offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I shall pay my vows to the Lord. O oh, may it be in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem, praise the Lord. Psalm 117, a psalm of praise. Praise the Lord, all nations. Laud him, all peoples, for his loving kindness is great toward us. And the truth of the Lord is everlasting. Praise the Lord. Psalm 118, thanksgiving for the Lord's saving goodness. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his loving kindness is everlasting. O let Israel say, his loving kindness is everlasting. O let the house of Aaron say, his loving kindness is everlasting. O let those who fear the Lord say, his loving kindness is everlasting. From my distress I called upon the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is for me. I will not fear what can man do to me. The Lord is for me among those who help me. Therefore I will look with satisfaction on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All nations surrounded me. In the name of the Lord, I will surely cut them off. They surrounded me. Yes, they surrounded me. In the name of the Lord, I will surely cut them off. They surrounded me like these. They were extinguished as a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord, I will surely cut them off. You pushed me violently so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. The sound of joyful shouting and salvation is in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I will not die but live and tell of the work for the Lord. The Lord has disciplined me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I shall enter through them. I shall give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. This, this, the righteous will enter through it. I shall give thanks to you for you have answered me and you have become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. O Lord, do say, we beseech you, O Lord, we beseech you, do send the prosperity. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. And in Hebrew, that's Baruch of Abashem Adonai. We have blessed you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us life. What? By the festival sacrifice with cords through the horns of the altar, you are my God. And I give thanks to you. You are my God. I extol you. Give thanks to the Lord. For he is good, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Now, Psalm 119, just a little bit about Psalm 119. It's long, um, and it is broken up with the Hebrew alphabet um, in, in, in segments. So there, the, it, it is Psalm 119, but there, there are segments. So, um, Psalm 119, Meditations and Prayers Relating to the Law of God, starting with Aleph. How blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. How blessed are those who observe his testimonies, who seek him with all their heart. They also do no unrighteousness. They walk in his ways. You have ordained your precepts that we should keep them diligently. 
Oh, that my ways may be established to keep your statutes, that I shall not be ashamed when I look upon all your commandments. I shall give thanks to you with uprightness of heart. When I learn your righteous judgment, I shall keep your statutes. Do not forsake me utterly. Bet. Um, in, in this Bible it says bet, but it actually the Hebrew letter is bet. B-E-T. How can a young man keep his way pure? By keeping it according to your word. With all my heart I have sought you. Do not let me wander from your commandments. Your word I have treasured in my heart that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I have told of all the ordinances of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and regard your ways. I shall delight in your statutes. I shall not forget your word. Gimel. Deal bountifully with your servant that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may behold wonderful things from your law. I am a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul is crushed with longing after your ordinances at all times. You rebuke, you, you rebuke the arrogant, the cursed, who wander from your commandments. Take away reproach and contempt from me, for I observe your testimonies, even though princes sit and talk against me. Your servant meditates on your statutes. Your testimonies also are my delight. They are my counselors. Delic. My soul cleaves to the dust. Revive me according to your word. I have told them my ways, and you have answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts, so I will meditate on your wonders. My soul weeps because of grief. Strengthen me according to your word. Remove the false way from me, and graciously grant me your law. I have chosen the faithful way. I have placed your ordinances before me. I cling to your testimonies. O Lord, do not put me to shame. I shall run the way of your commandments, for you will enlarge my heart. Hey, uh, teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall observe it to the end. Give me understanding that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Make me walk in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to dishonest gain. Turn away from my eyes from looking at vanity and revive me in your ways. Establish a word to your servant, and that which produces reverence for you. Turn away my reproach, which I dread, for your ordinances are good. Behold, I long for your precepts. Revive me through your righteousness. Vav. May your loving kindness also come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your word. So I will have an answer for him who reproaches me. For I trust in your word, and do not take the word of truth utterly out of my mouth. For I wait for your ordinances, so I will keep your law continually, forever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek your precepts. I will also speak at your testimonies before kings, and shall not be ashamed. I shall delight in your commandments, which I love. And I shall lift up my hands to your commandments, which I love. And I will meditate on your statutes. Zion. That's Z-A-Y-I-N in this Bible. Remember the word to your servant in which you have made me whole. This is my comfort and my affliction, that your word has revived me. The arrogant utterly deride me, yet I do not turn aside from your law. I remember your ordinances from old, O Lord, and comfort myself. Burning indignation has seized me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes are my songs in the house of, of my pilgrimage. O Lord, I remember your name in the night and keep your law. This has become mine that I observe your precepts. Now in this Bible, the next section is Heth, but it's actually Chet, which is C-H-E-T. The Lord is my portion. I have promised to keep your words. I sought your favor with all my heart. Be gracious to me according to your word. I considered my ways and turned my feet to your testimonies. I hastened and did not delay. The cords of the wicked have encircled me, but I have not forgotten your law. At midnight I shall rise to give thanks to you because of your righteous ordinances. I am a companion of all those who fear you. And of those who keep your precepts, the earth is full of your loving kindness, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. And the next segment is Tet. 
and in here it's Teth, but it's actually Tet. So there's, it, it, the, it, it's spelled a little different in the NASB from what it is in the Hebrew Bibles. You have, dwe you have dealt well with your servant, O Lord, according to your word. Teach me good discernment and, discernment and knowledge, for I believe in your commandments. Because I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good and do good. Teach me your statutes. The arrogant have forged a lie against me. With all my heart, I will observe your precepts. Their heart is covered with fat, and I delight in your law. It is good for me that I was afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Yod, your hand made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. May those who fear you see me and be glad, because I wait for your word. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are righteous. And then in faithfulness, you have afflicted me. Oh, may your loving kindness comfort me according to your word to your servant. May your compassion come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. May the arrogant be shame, ashamed, for they subvert me with a lie, but I shall meditate on your precepts. May those who fear you turn to me, even those who know your testimonies. May my heart be blameless in your statutes, so that I will not be ashamed. And path is my soul languishes for your salvation. I, I wait for your word. My eyes fail with longing for your word while I say, when will you comfort me? Though I have become like a wineskin in the smoke. I do not forget your statutes. How many are the days of your servant? When will you execute judgment on those who persecute me? The arrogant have dug pits for me. Men who are not in accord with your law, all your commandments are faithful. They have persecuted me with a lie. Help me. They almost destroyed me on earth, but as for me, I did not forsake your precepts. Revive me according to your loving kindness, so that I may keep the testimony of your mouth. Lamed. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness continues throughout all generations. You establish the earth and it stands. They stand this day according to your ordinances. For all things are your servants. It is your law that it is your law. I'm sorry. If your law had not been my delight, then I would have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts for by them you have revived me. I am yours. Save me. For I have sought your precepts. The wicked wait for me to destroy me. I shall diligently consider your testimonies. I have seen a limit to all perfection. Your commandment is exceedingly broad. Mem. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Your commandments make me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever mine. I have more insight than all my teachers. For your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the aged because I have observed your precepts. I restrain my feet from every evil way that I may keep your word. I have not turned aside from your ordinances, for you yourself have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste. Yes, sweeter than honey to my mouth. For from your precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. None. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and will confirm it that I will keep your righteous ordinances. I am exceedingly afflicted. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. O accept the free will offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me your ordinances. My life is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I have not gone astray from your precepts. I have inherited your testimonies forever, for they are the joy of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform your statutes forever, even to the end. Samach. And in Hebrew Bibles, it is spelled S-A-M-E-C-H. I hate those who are double-minded, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I wait for your word. Depart from me, evildoers, that I may observe the commandments of my God. 
sustain me according to your word that I may live and do not let me be ashamed of my hope. Uphold me that I may be safe and I may have regard for your statutes continually. You have rejected all those who wander from your statutes for their deceitfulness is useless. You have removed all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore, I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. I am. I have done justice and righteousness. Do not leave me to my oppressors, but, sh but surety for your servant for good. Do not let the arrogant oppress me. My eyes fill with longing for your salvation, for your righteous word. Deal with your servant according to your loving kindness and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Give me understanding that I may know your testimonies. It is time for the Lord to act, for they have broken your law. Therefore, I love your commandments above gold. Yes, above fine gold. Therefore, I esteem right all your precepts concerning everything. I hate every false way. Hey, your testimonies are wonderful. Therefore, my soul observes them. The unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth wide and, and panted, for I long for your commandments. Turn to me and be gracious to me. After your manner with those who love your name, establish my footsteps in your, in your word, and do not let any iniquity have dominion over me. Redeem me from the oppression of man, that I may keep your precepts. Make your face shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. My eyes shed streams of water because they do not keep your law. And then we have Zadhi, which is T Z A D H E N um, in the Hebrew Bible. Righteous are you, O Lord, and upright are your judgments. You have commanded your testimonies and righteousness of exceeding faithfulness. My zeal has consumed me because my adversaries have forgotten your words. Your word is very pure. Therefore, your servant loves it. I am small and despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your law is truth. Trouble and anguish have come upon me, yet your commandments are my delight. Your testimonies are righteous forever. Give me understanding that I may live. And, and this says Kof with a Q-O-P-H in, in the NASB, but it's actually K-O-F. I cried with all my heart, answer me, O Lord, I will observe your statutes. I cried to you, save me, and I shall keep your testimonies. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I wait for your words. My eyes anticipate the night watches, that I may meditate on your word. Hear my voice according to your loving kindness. Revi revive me, O Lord, according to your ordinances. Those who follow after wickedness draw near. They are far from your law. You are near, O Lord. And all your commandments are truth. Of old I have known from you testimonies that you have founded them forever. Resh. Look upon my affliction and rescue me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Revive me according to your word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. Great are your mercies, O Lord. Revive me according to your ordinances. Many are my persecutors and my adversaries. Yet I do not turn aside from your testimonies. I behold the treacherous and loathe them, because they do not keep your word. Consider how I love your precepts. Re revive me, O Lord, according to your loving kindness. The sum of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous ordinances is everlasting. Shin. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice at your word as one who finds great spoil. I hate and despise falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous ordinances. Those who love your law have great peace, and nothing causes them to stumble. I hope for your salvation, O Lord, and do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and your testimonies, for all my ways are before you. Tav. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your word. Let my lips utter praise, for you teach me your statutes. 
Let my tongue sing of your word, for all your commandments are righteousness. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let my soul live, that it may praise you, and let your ordinances help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep, seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. And that is Psalm 119, pretty long. Psalm 120, prayer for deliverance from the treacherous, a song of ascents. Now we're getting into the, the song of ascents. In my trouble, I cried to the Lord. And he answered me, deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips. From a deceitful tongue, what shall be given to you and what more shall be done to you, you deceitful tongue? Sharp arrows of the warrior. With the burning coals of the broom tree, woe well, is me, for I sojourn in Meshach, for I dwell among the tents of Kedar. Too long has my soul had its dwelling with those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Psalm 121, the Lord, the keeper of Israel, a song of ascent. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains from where shall my help come. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip. He who, who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all evil. He will keep your soul. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forever. Psalm 122, prayer for the peace of Jerusalem, a song of ascent, ascent of David. I was glad when they said to me, let, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem that is built as a city that is compact together, to which the tribes go up, even the tribes of the Lord, an ordinance for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For their thrones were set for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. May peace be within your walls and prosperity within your palaces. For the sake of my brothers and my friends, I will now, now say, may peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. Psalm 123, prayer for the Lord's help, a song of ascents. To you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of the, her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord of our God, until he is gracious to us. Be gracious to us, O Lord, be gracious to us, for we are greatly filled with contempt. Our soul is greatly filled with the scoffing of those who are at ease and with the contempt of the proud. Psalm 124. Praise for rescue from enemies, a song of ascents of David. Had it not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, had it not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, they would have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled against us. Then the waters would have engulfed us. The stream would have swept over our soul. Then the raging waters would have swept over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us to be torn by their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird out of, out of the snare of the trapper. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Psalm 125, the Lord surrounds his people. A song of ascents. Those who trust in the Lord are as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time forth and forever. For the scepter of wickedness shall not rest upon the land of the righteous, so that the righteous will not put forth their hands to do wrong. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good, and to those who are upright in their hearts. But as for those who turn aside to their crooked ways, the Lord will lead them away with the doers of iniquity. Peace be upon Israel. Psalm 126, Thanksgiving for Return from Captivity, a Song of Ascents. When the Lord brought, brought back the captive ones of Zion, we were like those who dream. That our, mouths, that our mouth was filled with laughter 
and our tongue with joyful shouting. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Restore our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south, those who sow, sow in tears shall reap with joyful shouting. He who goes to and fro weeping, carrying his bag of seed, shall indeed come again with a shout of joy, bringing his sheaves with him. Psalm 127, Prosperity Comes from the Lord, a Song of Ascents of Solomon. Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain. They labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchmen keep awake in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to retire late, to eat the bread of painful labors. For he gives to his beloved even in his sleep. Behold, children are a gift of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. How blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be ashamed when they speak with their enemies in the gate. That's a good uh, good psalm for pro-life, actually. There's, there's quite a few, actually. Psalm 128, blessed, blessedness of the, of the fear of the Lord, a song of ascent. How blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. When you sh shall eat of the fruit of your hands, you will be happy and it will be well with you. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children like olive plants around your table. Behold, for thus shall, shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion, and may you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Indeed, may you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Psalm 129, the prayer for, for the overthrow of Zion's enemies, a song of ascent. Many times they have persecuted me from my youth up. Let Israel now say many times they have persecuted me from my youth up, yet they have not prevailed against me. The flowers plowed upon my back, they lengthened their furrows. The Lord is righteous, he is cut in to the cords of the wicked. Now who hate Zion be put to shame and turn backward. Let them be like grass upon the housetops, which withers before it grows up, with which the reaper does not fill his hand, or the binder of sheaves his bosom. Nor do those who pass by say, The blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Psalm 130, Hope in the Lord's Forgiving Love, a song of ascent. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you that you may be feared. I wait for the Lord. My soul does wait. And in his word do I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than the, mo the watchman for the morning. Indeed, more than the watchman for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is loving kindness. And with him is abundant redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Psalm 131. Childlike trust in the Lord. A song of a sense of David. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor my eyes haughty, nor do I involve myself in great matters or in things too difficult for me. Surely I have composed and quieted my soul like a weaned child rest against his mother. My soul is like a weaned child within me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time forth and forever. Psalm 132, prayer for the Lord's blessing upon the sanctuary, a song of ascents. Psalm 132, uh, prayer for the Lord's blessing upon the sanctuary. This is also a song of ascent. Remember, O Lord, on David's behalf, all his affliction. How he swore to the Lord and vowed to the mighty one of Jacob. Surely I will not enter my house, nor lie on my bed. I will not give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids until I find a place for the Lord a dwelling place for the mighty one of Jacob. Behold, we heard of it in Ephrathah. We found it in the field of Jar. Let us go into his dwelling place. Let us worship at his footstool. Arise, O Lord, to your resting place, you and the ark of your strength. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness and let your godly ones sing for joy. For the sake of David, your servant, do not turn away the face of your anointed. The Lord has sworn to David. 
a truth from which he will not turn back. Of the fruit of your body I will set upon your throne, if your sons will keep my covenant and my testimony which I will teach them. Their sons also shall sit upon your throne forever, for the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his habitation. This is my resting place forever. Here I will dwell, for I have desired it. I will abund abundantly bless her provision. I will satisfy her needy with bread. Her priests also I will clothe with salvation, and her godly ones will sing aloud for joy. There I will cause the horn of David to spring forth. I prepared a lamp for mine anointed. His enemies I will clothe with shame, but upon himself his crown shall shine. Psalm 133, the excellency of brotherly unity. A song of the sense of David. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head, coming down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, coming down upon the edge of, of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon coming down upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, life forever. Psalm 134, Greetings of Night Watchers, a Song of Ascent. Behold, bless the Lord, all servants of the Lord, who serve by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands to the sanctuary. And bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who made heaven and earth. Psalm 135. Praise the Lord's wonderful works. Vanity of idols. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, O servants of the Lord. You who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises to his name, for it is lovely. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, Israel for his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great and that our Lord is above all gods. Whatsoever the Lord pleases, he does in heaven and in earth, in the seas and in all deeps. He causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth, who makes lightnings for the rain, who brings forth the wind from his treasuries. He smote the firstborn of Egypt, both man and beast. He sent signs and wonders into your midst, O Egypt, upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants. He smote many nations and slew mighty kings. Sihon, king of the Amorites, and O king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. And he gave their land as a heritage, a heritage to Israel, his people. Your name, O Lord, is everlasting. Your remembrance, O Lord, throughout all generations for the Lord will judge his people and will have compassion on his servants. The idols of the nations are but silver and gold, the work of man's hands. They have mouths, but they do not speak. They have eyes, but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear. Nor is there any breath at all in their mouths. Those who make them will be like them. Yet, yes, everyone who trusts in them. O house of Israel, bless the Lord. O house of Aaron, bless the Lord. O house of Levi, bless the Lord. You who revere the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord from Zion, who dwells in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Psalm 136. Thanks for the Lord's goodness to Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his loving kindness is everlasting. To him who alone does great wonders, for his loving kindness is everlasting. To him who made the heavens with skill, for his loving kindness is everlasting. To him who spread out the earth above the waters, for his loving kindness is everlasting. To him who made the great lights, for his loving kindness is everlasting. The sun to rule by day, for his loving kindness is everlasting. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his loving kindness is everlasting. To him who smote the Egyptians and their firstborn, for his loving kindness is everlasting. And brought Israel out from their midst, for his loving kindness is everlasting with a strong hand and an outstretched arm for his loving kindness is everlasting to him who is divided who divided the red sea of thunder for his loving kindness is everlasting and made israel pass through the midst of it for his loving kindness is everlasting but he ever threw pharaoh and his army in the red sea for his loving kindness is everlasting to him 
who led his people through the wilderness for his loving kindness is everlasting for him who smote great kings for his loving kindness is everlasting and slew mighty mighty kings for his loving kindness is everlasting sihon king of the amorites for his loving kindness is everlasting and old king of bashan for his loving kindness is everlasting and gave their land as a heritage for his loving kindness is everlasting even a heritage to israel his servant for his loving kindness is everlasting who remembered us in our low estate for his loving kindness is everlasting and has rescued us from our adversaries for his loving kindness is everlasting who gives food to all flesh for his loving kindness is everlasting give thanks to the god of heaven for his loving kindness is everlasting psalm 137 an, an experience of the captivity by the rivers of babylon there we sat down and wept when we remembered zion upon the willows in the midst of it we hung our harps for there our captors demanded us songs and our tormentors mirth saying sing us one of the songs of zion how can we sing the lord's song in a foreign land if i forget you o jerusalem may my right hand forget forget her skill may my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth if i do not remember you if i do not exalt jerusalem above my chief joy remember o lord against the sons of edom the day of jerusalem who said raise it raise it to its very foundation o daughter of babylon you devastated one how blessed will be the one who repays you with the recompense with which you have repaid us how blessed will be the one who seizes and dashes your little ones against the rock psalm 138 thanksgiving for the lord's favor a psalm of david i will give you thanks with all my heart i will sing praises to you before the gods i will bow down towards your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your loving kindness and your truth for you have magnified your word according to all your name on the day i called you answered me you made me bold with strength in my soul all the kings of the earth will give thanks to you, O Lord, when they have heard the words of your mouth. And they will sing of the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. For though the Lord is exalted, yet he regards the lowly. But the haughty he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch forth your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand will save me. The Lord will accomplish what concerns me. Your loving kindness, O Lord, is everlasting. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Psalm 139, God's Omnipresence and Omniscience. From the choir director, a psalm of David, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You understand my thought from afar. You scrutinize my path and my lying down and are intimately acquainted with all my ways, even, even before there is a word on my tongue. Behold, O Lord, you know it all. You have enclosed me behind and before. You laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is too high. I cannot attain to it. Where can I go from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I dwell in the remotest parts of the sea, even there your, your hand will lead me and your right hand will lay hold of me. If I say, surely the darkness will, over will overwhelm me, and the light around me will be night. Even the darkness is not dark to you, and the night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light are light to you. For you formed my inward parts. You wove me in my mother's womb. I will give thanks to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, and my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you, when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the depths of the earth, your eyes have seen my unformed substance. And in your book were all written the days that were ordained for me, when as yet there was not one of them. So you know that's a, these are are very very solid for pro life uh, stances. Because, yes, God has a will and a plan for each and every soul. And he knows what he has ordained, the numbers of the days. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God. 
How vast is the, is the sum of them? If I should count them, they would outnumber the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me, therefore, men of bloodshed, for they speak against you wickedly, and your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with the utmost hatred. They have become my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxious thoughts, and see if there be any hurtful way in me, and lead me in the everlasting way. Psalm 140, Prayer for Protection Against the Wicked. For the choir director, a psalm of David, Rescue me, O Lord, from evil men. Preserve me from violent men who devise evil things in their hearts. They continually stir up wars. They sharpen their tongues as a serpent. Poison of a viper is under their lips. Elah. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who have purpose to trip up my feet. The proud have hidden a trap for me and cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set snares for me. Elah. I said to the Lord, You are my God. Give ear, O Lord, to the voice of my supplications. O God, o God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, you have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not grant, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Do not promote, promote his evil device, that they not be exalted. Selah. As for the head of those who surround me, may the mischief of their lips cover them. May burning coals fall upon them. May they cast be cast into the fire, into deep pits from which they cannot rise. May a slanderer not be established in the earth. May evil hunt the violent man speedily. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and justice for the poor. Surely the righteous will give thanks to your name. The upright will dwell in your presence. Well, we're going to pause it here. Um, just in case um, this online counter is wrong. And we'll come back with Psalm 141 through 150. And then we're going to do a complete recap of the book of Psalms. And also I'm going to go through who the writers of each of the Psalms are and the compilers. Um, and we'll break that down for you before we go into an altar call and close out this week's Bible study.